we're back to normal broadcast. It's been a couple of weeks since we have finished the quick flips. As you can see, we still have we still have this sitting here. Anyway, we're back doing some work today on the old nugget. I have been busy in the background. I haven't done nothing for the last couple of weeks. We have a absolute ton of stuff laid out on the bench here. I've been sanding, painting, and getting everything ready to now reinstall a whole bunch of new parts, which I did show in the broadcast, the news broadcast we saw on the last uh, flip episode. Oh, welcome, by the way, back to Flip My Ride. And I've earned a complete $5.35 since monetizing in two weeks. Oh, amazing. All right, let's have a look at what we've got laid out here today. And there's a few more things that we've got to look at, but let's get a general idea of what we're going to try to achieve. Yes, folks, the bench is loaded up with a bunch of sexy new parts. It's always nice to go shopping and under the bonnet of the Hilux is going to look amazing. Let's get to it now. So we know about this beautiful new radiator. It's got to be fitted. I do need a new hose for that. I hadn't uh, done that yet. But so that's the battery holder. That was as best as I could get it. It was literally painted black. Um, we've had the battery holder painted for a while. We've painted up some bracketry. Uh, air filter box is painted and over. It's actually over there somewhere. Um, we've got new valve cover gaskets, new alternator. As I said, you saw these parts in the last video and we've done the valve cover. We've painted that in some engine enamel. Um, we've got our, our little inlets and outlets here. Um, and we have been busy. As you can see, I've got some paint. Let's have a look at what I've done under the bonnet. Can you spot the difference? Can you see what we've done already? But I don't know if you remember, the uh, front panel here was pretty much rusted and damaged, like just paint gone. So we have sanded that back, primed it and painted that and clear coated it. So that looks bloody awesome um, in my mind. Compared to what it was, I'll tell you, those can paints are pretty bloody good. So this was all paint missing and it had um, black paint everywhere. So I've sanded and painted that down as far as I could. And I don't know if you remember, but we had a paint missing section all the way down here from where the clutch brake fluid or whatever has leached out over time and then run all the way down here. And that was all gone. So I've managed to sand that back and done not too bad a job if I do say so myself. So that's done. And uh, now we're going to put everything back together, the coil and I'll paint up the bracket here for the uh, fuel filter. So without any more fart assing about, I'm going to start to reinstall all this and uh, get it all sweet and hopefully up and running today. Properly. Let's go. Alrighty, first things first, let's go gasket and valve cover. I'm going to get some stuff off this. Wasn't the best of paint. Not too happy with the finish on that, but that's going to have to do. Alrighty. Now we need to take all of this over and install. See if we can get this on without doing too much freaking damage. Oh, that fall out. Got it. Beautiful. Valve cover on. I'm going to gently do those up. Doesn't really seal too well. Anyway, see how it goes when it runs. Hopefully it doesn't spew oil out everywhere. With the valve cover looking nice and neat and tidy, it's time to move on to the coil. I reused the coil that I had. It's closest to original, I guess. And we screwed that fuse box back in and I have ordered a new sticker for it. I'm missing a, a nut. Shit, shit. All right, I've just undone this. Funny thing with these is it comes out as one piece and we've got a rubber seal here. So I will endeavor 
to pull the plug out. Ooh. Two of them so far, so first one there is burning a bit lean. We've got a rubber seal, a gasket at the top of this little aluminium cap, seal, whatever you want to call it. Oh, 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 look at that. Roll on the new one. Up to the top there. Slot it back in. Grab a new spucket plug. Oh, get the spuck plug out, come on. See if we can screw it back on. Okay, there it goes. Pop that. We'll pop that jiggy on. Anyway. So I'm just going to go and continue finishing that off. And then we'll move on to something else. Now we're gonna take off that. It's not too bad. We'll keep that as a spare in the, in the kit. But we have a nice newbie here. Throw the button. Check they're the same. Yep, they look the same. There's a little bit of um, dust there, like around the seal. That's actually not too bad, that um, those that distributor but so I'm going to just clean this a little bit because we've got this powder here while we did the quick flips for a couple of weeks it was difficult to start after rain um, I had a bit of trouble and it was missing and carrying on as I backed it into here so I'll give that a tidy up and put the new distributor cap on with the new um, rotor and then we'll start on the alternator and all of the water fittings I guess I'll just have a look at the points this is where the spark emanates from here. I'm gonna sand a little bit in between those. Where are we, those? The old fashioned way. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> I'd say the rubber seal's gone on the distributor. <sighs> if there is a rubber seal, I don't know. Is there a rubber seal on distributors, guys? I can't remember. Yeah, there is. <laughs> That's it there. Shit, shit. That's it there. So it's meant to seal up, obviously, on that, which it ain't doing. So I might run a bit of grease around the inside of this, and then put it on. Bummer. So all that white powdery stuff is actually corrosion that's occurred. I need to get rid of it. I have, and now I'm just blasting that out of the distributor itself, and then we'll whack on that nice, crisp new um, distributor cap and put all the leads back on. Moving right along, it's time to take the sexiness off the bench and onto the motor. As you can see, we've reinstalled actually the new thermostat and the thermostat housing. I'm screwing in the inlet housing up top and then we'll move on, get that nice new shiny alternator all set up and I'll throw on the belt as well. We've got to do the radiator next, but it wouldn't start. And I just pulled the lead off and fiddled with it. And, and now... All right. So I don't know, I thought I'd put something on wrong. I don't know what's going on, but... Now it starts. All right, so something must have been just a little bit of miss here. That's all on, that's all on. New fan belt on, alternator is on, all the charging bits on. Now we've got to get on to water. So radiator's about to go in. I've mixed up some, um, it's not anti-corrosive, yeah, anti-corrosive. Rust inhibitor or coolant inhibitor. So I've got that mixed up. I'm gonna use this to help put it in because you've got to pre-mix it. So it's gonna be messy. Um, you know, I'm at a bit of a quandary. I've got a bit of an issue. I cannot find, I, so I went to install the nice big, recently painted and restored airbox, but there's a bunch of rubber mounts that are meant to be used to mount that. And do you think I can find them? 
I have no friggin' idea where anything is. I, I've got so many screws and stuff everywhere and I cannot find where those rubber mounts are. I've looked in the cupboard though. Are they in here? I don't know. So, nowhere are they to be found. So that ain't going on today. Anyway, let's put the radiator on. Let's do that. Oh, how's that? Ended up doing that. Brand new radiator. It's been sitting on a rag. Might have had something on the rag, but that's just taken the paint clean off. Ah! All right, folks, time to button that up. We will be ready to put some hoses on. Hopefully they're all right. All right, we are going to put, we're putting this in here. Is it gonna fit? Oh, you bastard. It's not going to fit. Shit, 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 a brick. It's not going to work. I will, I will work something out because I always do. Eventually. Okay, um, car's up to temp, everything's running. I was going to continue doing stuff, but I seriously now, I can't find, so I can't find the screws for the uh, air box and I cannot find the screws for the fan shroud. So my guess is they're together in a container somewhere when I, when I degrease them. <laughs> and where that could be, I have no idea whatsoever. I have walked around and around and around and around. All right, I'm gonna to have to call it quits. I do have a little project sideline thing happening right now. I have just purchased my dealer's course to become a motor dealer. So I'll keep you posted with that. Might even do a little bit of uh, a walk through what's required in the course. Anyway, I'm gonna call it quits for today. Hope you had a good weekend. Uh, hope I can make something out of this bloody video. Yeah, we'll catch you again next time on Flip My Ride. Um, find it, that's a good question. Can I find it? <laughs> that's my biggest problem. All right, I'm going. Ciao. Shit, shit.